Hey YouTube, what's up? Mike here. Uh, today we're going to talk about sharing the uh, Instagram stories. Uh, so it's really good if you have like a social media app, you want to get some attention, things like that. Um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, it's a four step process. So uh, first one we have to go into info.plist and whitelist Instagram's custom URL scheme that they use to open the app. Uh, uh, we're going to confirm the user has Instagram on their device uh, before we go through all that, that stuff. Um, add items to the UI pasteboard. Um, I don't know if you've worked with that before, but it's, it's fairly simple. It's, you, know, you save things as a, uh, key value dictionaries and pass them over. Uh, and then last, we're going to open Instagram and we're going to paste the image in there. So uh, let's get started. The first things first, we got to make a new Xcode project. And it's going to be a single view app called Instagram Stories. And at the end of this, you can find this on GitHub as well. Uh, you can, I mean, you can take it now if you don't want to uh, watch the whole video. But um, I do explain myself, so. <laughs> Hopefully you'll find this useful, but I don't, you know, I don't care. You could, you could do whatever you want. You can do that right now. Just download it on GitHub. Links in the description. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna put that right there. All right, now real quick setup. I'm going to add an image view and a button to the storyboard that I'm gonna link up to the view controller, uh, so that I can share everything. Here, uh, image view. I'm gonna set some constraints. You know, I like that width. Uh, let's do like 400 height. Oh, almost right at 100. So close. All right. So we have that. We have an image view. Let's let's set an image in there. So I have this uh, picture of my dog with a stick, and we're gonna use that. All my cutest and best pictures are of my dog, and there he is. That's Maverick. He's a very good dog, right? You, sometimes you could probably see him back there. But yeah, I'm going to add a UI button. I'm going to do a little formatting on this button. It's just, uh, I like to have a background color for buttons. I mean, just for the user's sake. Uh, I'm going to set some constraints here. There we go. And then for the background, let's use that blue. And then for the text, we'll use white. There we go. So now let's link them up real quick. I'm gonna do a little control drag. And it's gonna be sharing image view. And we're gonna have do an IB action for the button for when it's pressed. And I'm going to say share to Insta Stories because that's what will happen when we, do, when we click this button. So let's go back to the view controller. And now we're ready to get started with step one. And so in this one we have to uh, put Instagram's custom URL into our info.plist uh, and a lot of the stuff can be found um, everything I'm going over is basically in the sharing to stories uh, developers Facebook documentation um, it's all written in Objective-C so uh, you know boo <laughs> but uh, 
but yeah, here's here's the things that you're going to need to know. Here's the things that I reference. I'm getting everything from that. So just know uh, if you're ever lost in the future, just Google sharing to stories. And the uh, obviously the the Instagram stories uh, URL scheme I got from there. And we're going to go into info.plist. And in here there is a Uh, an option that is called LS application. Oh man, I should do autofill for this. LS schemes. And in there, we're going to put Instagram dash stories. There we go. Anytime you want to open up another app directly from your app, it's going to have this custom URL. Um, and you have to go in and do that every time, pretty much. So, back here, are ready to get started. Now, um, the first thing we do when we're in here is actually the second step, whatever. Uh, <laughs> We, uh, we check to make sure that the user has Instagram on their device. So we're going to use an if let, and we're going to say stories URL, and it's going to be equal to a URL string. And that string for this case is Instagram dash stories colon slash slash share. That again is from the documentation. So I know, I know, I'm going to use it. Uh, so the next thing, uh, this is the actual check here. If UI application dot share dot can open URL, we want it to be stories URL. And that this is where we're going to put our next code, which is using the pasteboard. Um, but you know, while we have all this stuff open, let's do an else print user doesn't have Instagram on their device. There we go. So that will give you everything you need to know, which is why. Uh, Unless you have Instagram on your simulator, you're going to have to um, use and let what you probably have to work for Instagram to do that, right? You can't. Can you download stuff on the App Store to a simulator? Never even done it, but um, or never tried. But but you're going to have to use your device for testing this. By the way, and the next thing we need to do here is to have a guardlet statement because this image view is an optional or the image within it is an optional, so we want to unwrap that and make it available for use without crashing our app. Sharing image view dot image else return. All right, so there we go. So now we're going to create a pasteboard. As I said earlier, these are key value pairs, so I'm gonna go ahead and create the pasteboard items as an array of dictionary string type string any and it's going to equal set array and here we go so in here we're going to put all of the uh, URLs that it says to match up with in the documentation so if you look at this part of the documentation right here uh, you'll see that there's these for like using background images video sticker images so there's some other things you can do within here that are pretty easy to add. You just add them right here into the pasteboard. Um, and I've done them before for another app, so just use, use guardlet functions. And because it's crashed my app a couple times that the URL or image hasn't loaded yet before it was used. So um, yeah, just throw in a guardlet and uh, put in all the stuff you need in here. So. The first thing we want to have the sticker asset. So it's going to be com.instagram.share.com. Dot 
shared sticker dot sticker image. Got to make sure I'm getting that right. Yeah, it's like when you're using long strings, it's like sketchy. Um, and for this, we have to use the data from an image uh, versus the image itself. So, um, actually, probably be good to throw in another guardlet and say in image data and make that equal to a UI image PNG representation. When was that changed? I literally worked on this like a couple days ago. All right, didn't give me that error, but all right, yeah, let's uh, let's hope that works. <laughs> um, looks looks like it makes sense. Uh, image data, and then we also want to add a background color. So they. Uh, Instagram will use uh, hex colors for like background top and background bottom color. And if you set two different colors, they'll do a cool little gradient thing. So um, let's go ahead and set up um, dot Instagram dot shared sticker dot back. Ooh, see, that's that's the thing. It'll screw you up. And that is of type, um, actually I've, it's supposed to be just a hex number, correct? Okay. Let me make sure. Yep, and for this, uh, I actually use, you guys might find this useful, uh, flatuicolors.com. Really great, uh, easily designed colors for people like me who don't just like see them and, and like, not really much of a, like, color guy. Like, I like having, I'll choose from a bunch, you know, instead of, like, I'll choose from this instead of creating my own and thinking about, oh, what do I want there? So here, I like American River and Soothing Breeze. Yeah, aren't those both awesome, awesome, beautiful things? Um, so I'm going to copy the hex code in here through flatuicolors.com, and then, yeah, oh no, I pasted when I should have copied. Now we're going to paste right there, and we're going to say bottom color. And we're going to go into copy the hex code for Soothing Breeze, and we're going to paste it right there. All right. And the, uh, the last thing we're going to do is set up some pasteboard options, and then we're ready to present. Uh, that's the comma right there. So we have to let paste. Yeah, that's one word. Options equals, and this is another array. And UI pasteboard dot options key dot expiration date and we set it to the current date and we're going to add a time interval and this is in seconds so we're gonna I mean just give it plenty of time um, you know usually you'd want to make that shorter in a production app but uh, uh, go into UI application and this is where we're going to open the uh, the store URL, and we're going to send in the pasteboard. So stories URL. The options are 
Oh, yeah, okay. Skip a step here. Um, now we apply the options to the pasteboard beforehand. General dot set items, and the items are going to be pasteboard items, and our options are going to be the pasteboard options. All right, there we go. And so yeah, now we're ready to put shared, open, stories URL, options is just an empty dictionary, and completion is nil. So, all right. Okay, guys, I made a boo-boo. I tried to run it on my app to make sure everything was good. Um, in the info.p list, this is an array. Yeah, totally messed up on that. So in here, uh, we just put, you know, item zero in the array, and the string is the Instagram dash stories. So that's why if you try to run this and got this message, um, this should fix everything. But of course, you have to make sure that the item is in the application. Okay. Instagram dash stories. There we go. I'm going to delete this one. And there we go. I build and ran. Make sure it worked. Everything's good. Um, thanks everybody for watching the video. I hope, uh, I hope this helped you uh, solve your issues with posting to Instagram stories. Uh, make sure to check out this uh, this these documentations or this documentation here. Um, you know, if you have any questions, um, and also you can just hit me up on Twitter at Miles Tweets. Um, but yeah. Thanks, everybody.